It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you. Gracias. <sighs> Buenos noches. We definitely have to talk again soon. <sighs> there's a lot about oh, this Oh, there's so many people here. Simba, please. <gasps> oh, stop talking to me. I only want to talk to Simba. Hi. Excellent. I have something to give you. Sushi. My beauty here is eternal. Vegetarian stew. Ah. Those are nice pants. Why can't why can't Simba? Hey there. Hey there. I have something to give you. Purple and patience. Ah. Uh, Simba, what's on your mind? Oh. I love getting up early and watching the sun rise. It's very beautiful. Yeah, and it's different every morning. Different colors, different light. Hey! It makes everything feel new. See ya. See ya. Let's actually... We'll have Glad Simba... Here. We'll have Simba f hang out hmm. with us since... Nal is sleeping. And we'll take a look around. Just take a look around. Grab this little green man. I wonder if that photo... Shoot backdrop... Is gonna stay in the castle. Hmm. That memory was just money. We do love a good memory of money. How you doing, Chelsea? How's it going? You're gonna get spoiled being here. I know you're only on episode 19. This is like episode 110 or something like that. The <laughs> YouTube is very behind where this is. Simba, you are in the way. So is everyone. Everyone's in the way. We're here living in a cruel, cruel world where... Uh, where Scar gets to be alive, but Mufasa still has to be dead. Which is really messed up when you think about it. A very large part of the of of Lion King 2 Simba's pride is the fact that is the fact that Scar is dead. Scar being dead triggered a whole new line of evil lions. Did I catch a bass? From the rare puddle? Did I just catch a bass? Bass is a common fish. Oh, I didn't. Just kidding. I caught I caught a perch. <laughs> I, I was mad for nothing. It's okay. Everything's fine. It looked like a bass. I'm sorry for getting mad. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna leave. I wonder... I'm not gonna... <laughs> I'm not going to start complaining about the fact that Nala is asleep. The number of times in the course of three video- Oh look, a, a him. In the course of three videos that I complained that Mickey was asleep, it was very frustrating to me. We're, we're not going to do the same thing for Nala. We're going to mind our own business and enjoy the fact that she will once again wake up in the future.
A swordfish. Two swordfish, even. It really did... Nala really did make me crowd the beach, didn't she? That's okay. Nala means well. She, she, she brings up interesting points. Oh, another one. Let's grab the fish off this boat really quickly. It looks really pretty at night. It really does. It's, it's gorgeous out here. Dreamlight Valley, um, follows my time. And I think, I mean, it's 10 o'clock here. It, it's kind of around that time. I think something about just being in this part of the water, it kind of looks sunsetty, which is really nice. A nice twilight. Let's sell this fish, and if it gets us enough money to upgrade Moana's boat, we'll do it. For some reason, I guess in one of the recent updates, they added another tier to Moana's boat. So even though I had maxed out the tiers before, I can now upgrade again. Which is a little frustrating, especially because it's $60,000. But, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. I could make food out of this fish and make so much more money than I'm about to get for... for the fish. Should I just go make food? Let's just go cook. Whoa, Let's go cook. I need hi. more, um... You see my pal, Donald Duck? He might be at his house, Goofy. Or I saw him being angry in the plot. Is that, uh, okay. You try to have a conversation with someone. He asked me a question. I tried to answer it. He ran away. Oh, another one. We found two in there. I've already found two more than I thought I was going to find today. Nine more to go. We need... We need... A stam... Stanima. Stamina? Tessa used to say it wrong so much that I've forgotten how to say it correctly. You can't blame Goofy. You did tell him a place. I guess I did. I told him a place and then changed my mind and tried to tell him a different place. He, he, he listened and went, okay, and ran off before I could correct myself. That's fine. He's just way too big to be in my house. Do, do you agree? He's also, I know that this is like a bug fix that <laughs> it makes them spawn in the doorway because they used to spawn right in front of you and sometimes they were I immovable and they would just trap you. But <laughs> it's, it's a little uncomfortable to have him just lurking in the doorway. What should we make? I do like making pickled herring. All the ingredients for the pickled herring are really easy to get. Oh, well, that's not what I meant to do. What else can we make? I don't want to just keep making pickled herring. I have... One milk left, so we'll do that. Eggplant puffs to get rid of the last egg. We have one more cheese. Let's see if we can find something to use the cheese in. I do like a good gazpacho. I haven't used any of the fish that I said I was going to use. Crispy baked cod uses cheese. Creamy garlic scallops to use some of our extra bu uh, butter. Oh, you know what? Let's let's try to get some of the new recipes. Let's, let's take a look at what the new recipes are. A dream fizz. So a dream frit... <laughs> a dream fizz listed as a appetizer. It's obviously some kind of beverage. 
We don't have many liquids. I wonder if it has to have milk in it. I don't know what that blue color would come from. Oh, we do have blueberries. So maybe it's like a milk, blueberry, raspberry, something. I don't know if that, how, I mean, strawberry milk is a thing. So it could be something like that. That's just my guess. I don't have any milk on me, so <laughs> there's not much I can do about that. Fugu sushi. We've never managed to get fugu before. I don't know if they ever actually added fugu in the game, because I think one of the reasons we couldn't catch fugu before was because it wasn't added to the game yet. It does say you can find fugu on Dazzle Beach. I think it's just extremely rare. And the here and there fish you can find everywhere. I do think we should put some time in to get the here and there fish. This ghostly, ghostly fish steak, I believe, is just based on what it looks like. Uh, here and there fish. It looks like asparagus, bell pepper, lemon maybe, and basil. Or, yeah, basil. Gumbo, we probably need shrimp, shrimp and okra, rice, gumbo. Let me think about what goes into a real gumbo. A real gumbo uses rice. Well, the gumbo goes over rice, but, you know. Uh, what else? Shrimp. Shrimp. Depending on the kind of uh, gumbo you're making, you would put okra in. A uh, Cajun okra. A Cajun gumbo doesn't have okra, but a Creole gumbo does. What else? Uh, tomatoes. Some people put tomatoes in their gumbo. I mean, is it just a seafood, another seafood? Because a seafood gumbo could contain more than just shrimp. What's important that goes into a gumbo? People put mushrooms in their gumbo. We'll try it. Let's just go for it. Seafood soup. Yeah, well. Okay, let's let's take a look at what else we got. I'll I'll think on the gumbo. I don't I only eat gumbo. I don't make it myself. Uh let's see. Um, Lioness Feast doesn't give me that many details. It looks like it might be to just based on what I see in the picture. The pictures don't really mean anything, but I always just try to go based on what I see in the picture. Did I use a pepper for the gumball? We can try to use a pepper. Because, listen, honestly, in this picture, I wish I could make the pictures bigger. It looks like shrimp. It kind of looks like zucchini. It kind of looks like a green bean. It's red, so I would imagine... Oh, I wonder if that zucchini look is what the okra is. That's not what okra looks like, but it might be. It looks like there should be bay leaves in it, which honestly fair, but we don't have bay leaves in the valley. What am I doing? Okra tomato. shrimp the question is if they're using rice as an ingredient because gumbo you pour over rice but it's not necessarily i mean i guess you could eat <laughs> you could eat it without rice i don't know why you would want to there's like a sort of green beanie look we can do like a chili pepper as if we're making like a spicy gumbo we should probably put like oregano or something in it right Ooh, garlic. Let's do oregano. Should we try rice again? Dang it. It's another seafood soup. Huh. Maybe the rice is just wrong. Let's go back to meals. I like I like I like attempting the meals. It looks like I don't know why does it look like it has green beans in it? Alright, Linus Feast. It kinda looks like tomato, potato. Oregano. Actually, that kind of looks more like basil. In something. Maybe a fish. 
Maguro Sushi, Marvelous Jam. It just looks like bread and whipped cream, I'm gonna be honest. Poached basil butter sturgeon. Basil butter sturgeon. That's three... That's three ingredients right there. Sturgeon, a basil, and butter. We just have to figure out what the last ingredient is. What makes it poached? Oh, well, I guess the butter makes... I don't... Anyway. Steamed fugu. We don't have fugu. Sweet udon. Sweet udon. I wonder if it's like some sort of... It's blue, and the only blue thing I can think of is blueberries. Is there any new desserts? There's dream ice cream. There's also dream fizz. Are we using here and there fish for some weird stuff? Whimsical pie. Anyway, I think I think I have to give up on that for a second. Let's continue. Do I still have butter? You know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe we need butter in the in the gumbo, because to make a roux, you have to have, like, flour and butter. Flour, wheat, butter, shrimp, tomato, and okra? I'm mad. I'm mad. I still- <laughs> I didn't even use the fish I was supposed to be using. You guys let this happen. You guys let me get distracted by silly things. Why am I looking at desserts? That's not what I want. Should we make a booyah base? Fish Creole has rice, tomato, onion. I wonder how different the fish Creole is from the butter. I mean from the gumbo. Oh my goodness. I don't know what's happening anymore. I can't believe I embarrassed myself by not remembering to make a roux for the gumbo. That's the first- that's the first step! You gotta make a roux for the gumbo. Maybe they're not putting okra. How's it going? Maybe they don't make an okra gumbo. Nope, that's for Nala. We can sell those. That's also for Nala. I was so close. If I had made just a couple more meals, we would have made it to 60,000. Do you guys ever just get random songs in your head? The past couple of days, I've had a song in my head. That's not even really a song. <laughs> It's a, um, a commercial jingle. It's a, an old commercial jingle, probably from about 10, 11 years ago now. Uh, for a bartending school. I've just been thinking about it for a bit. All, all it does is, all it does is list alcohols. Drinks. Another commercial jingle. I, I also used to think about the uh, the freecreditreport.com commercial jingles. They have two of them that I know in their entirety. But I think there were three or four. They say a man should always dress for the job he wants. So why am I dressed up like a pirate in this restaurant? It's all because some hackers... Let's talk about Donald Duck quacking like that. That song that he quacks to... Quack, 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 with that, that, right? It sounds like, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map, I'm the map. I, that's all I wanted to say. I just... Every time he sings that, I think he's singing the map song from Dora the Explorer. So the next time... We hear him doing that. Just think about it. 
I learned a red snapper, kamikaze, long island iced tea, black Russian fuzzy navel, and a sex on the beach. Bartend. There was actually two different songs for that one. That said different drinks. I want to get more in the habit of, instead of just selling my extra materials, just build stuff. There's plenty of stuff I've never built before that I can attempt to be building with the extra materials instead of just selling them off. Where'd you put the Encanto house? I will show you where I put the Encanto house. We're actually right next to it. It's right down here in the plaza. Right behind Scrooge's store. Oh gosh. We had to um, widen... I think what we ended up doing was we pushed the path on this side down a bit. Because before we did that, it was really crowded. Uh, like, there wasn't enough room in between these two things. But it's better now. Look how nice. Mini Casita is. And, it, and it's about the same height as Scrooge's store, too. So they kind of go really well together. They're two vastly different styles of building. But they're the same height, so... Mini Casita is not blocking anything that Scrooge's store isn't blocking. It's also like Remy's restaurants. Like this is just where my very tall buildings go, I guess, because Remy's restaurant and his house are are something, you know. Oh, hey, little guy! I also put hedges in between as well. I've been. Using hedges a lot. Look, we have a we have a hedge right here next to Mickey's house. A hedge over there by Minnie's house. We we got a good little setup over here for these two. We're we're in the middle of of redecorating. We're in the middle of redecorating right now, which is why there's a a huge gap of nothingness right here we had to this pool is also just kind of a i haven't decided how i feel about this pool yet but we're in the middle of redecorating because we previously we were just plopping things down as quickly as possible to move on with the story so like minnie's house was right here which pretty much blocked the view from the the characters like to stand right here so it was blocking the view Buzz's camper was where Minnie's house is now. It, it just was out of place. And I feel a lot better with Buzz's camper like this, where it's kind of, you're coming up, and it's kind of camouflage that it's a camper because you got the, the balloon arch and, the, and his little spaceship right in front. Like, you can still tell it's a vehicle. But it, it's kind of camouflaged with other stuff. I, I greatly decreased this scar Y, the, the size of my yard, which is happier. I made room for Buzz. So so we're in the middle of redecorating. I've, I've only started redecorating the plaza so far, so I, I fixed a couple of just issues I was having with the plaza. And as soon as I'm... Done with the plaza. We'll move on to the meadow. I already have big plans. I have big plans to, to do something with Wally's truck. The only other thing that I've moved since I started redecorating is the, the houses that are on the water. I moved all the houses on the water back to just make more room on the beach. Because you don't... You don't actually need to access those houses, because every single water character, you can go to them and say, let's go see your house, and I, you can just teleport to their house. So you don't actually need to have access to their house at all. So it's fine. So I have moved all the houses back so that my beaches didn't feel so crowded. Which is... So nice. 
that's actually as far back as they go. They won't go any further than that. So pretty much where this line of rocks is, they won't go further than that. Eric's house. You don't like Eric's house? I also... I have a lot of feelings about Eric's house. I think it's too bulky. There's something... Like, you can see here, I've tried to camouflage it with trees. Um, I've, I've tried to... My best to sort of... Camouflage it. My biggest problem is actually with Ariel's house. It's so gaudy and ostentatious. It, it's... Not a great looking house. My other problem with these houses, the Ariel's house in Maui's grotto, is that the sand color is so vastly different from this sand color, and I just wish that they matched. The, the very, very yellow sand of those houses bothers me. Uh, but yeah, I, I've tried... Uh, I've put Eric's statue here, but I, I'm trying to figure out... I want to camouflage these kind of more bothersome houses. Like, I don't mind Moana's house, but Eric's house is just, like, walls. Wall, 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 wall. So I, I try to camouflage it with trees. I've kind of tried to camouflage it on all sides, really. I like what I did with, with Buzz's house. My plan for Wally's house, as you can see, I've tried to put bushes around it. and My new plan for Wally's house is to put trellises around it. So... I'm either going to leave it here, turn it around, and put, like, a line of trellises around it. Or move it over here by Merlin's house and do the same thing with putting trellises in front. To sort of just make it more gardeny, since he is a gardening character. Uh... I think the trellises will look nice against just the bulkiness of his truck. So that's kind of my plan moving forward. I just haven't gotten there yet. Oh, Nala woke up. Where's Nala? Someone scream if you see Nala. <gasps> there she is. Okay, we're going to see Nala. So we're in the middle of redecorating. Like I said, in the past, we attempted as best as we could just putting things down as quickly as we could. And now we're actually attempting to make it look nice. Hello. Hello, Nala. Good morning. I have something to give you. I have three things to give you, actually. Uh, the walleye on Papalote. Wow, it's getting late. What do you mean it's getting late? You just woke up. Calm down. Why'd you move back so Hi. far? I have your smoked peanuts and anglerfish. And I have the flower you wanted. All right, you seem confused. Huh? Kizzy, I've seen a lot of strange rectangles in the village. Merlin tells me they're called doors. What are they for? They're for privacy. Mm. Oh, I understand. So you don't have to leave when you want to hear yourself think. A den full of lions can get pretty noisy sometimes. Ha. Oh. But you can just close the door. Meeting someone like you, you gives me hope. It's been a couple of times where Nala has said two things at once. I was like, Simba, were you eavesdropping? But I forgot that he's following me. Heck yeah, 1k. Which means we probably have enough money to upgrade Moana's boat now. <sighs> hey Kizzy, do you have time to help me figure out more about my past here in the valley? Of course. Thanks. I don't remember much, but I do know it's important to the valley that I uncover my past. I know I had a role here, something I was responsible for, like Nala said. I want to figure it out, but I don't know where to start. We need someone who remembers everything about the village. Someone who was protected from the forgetting by being trapped in a certain giant skull cave. We need Scar. I know you don't like dealing with him. That's what my friend Simone would call an understatement. You just stay here. I'll talk to him. I know he's tricky. Oof. 
I don't like this. But I guess there's no other choice. Uh-huh. If there's no one else here who knows about my past, then you're right. You'll have to talk to him. I mean, Mother Gothel also remembers everything about the village because she was trapped in her giant willow the entire time, so we don't technically have to talk to Scar. But for story purposes, I guess we can. Pay attention to me. Oh, Kizzy, it's you. What do you want now? Simba wants to remember more about his past in the valley. You were mostly protected from the forgetting in your cave. What do you remember? <laughs> oh, so much. So much, in fact, that Simba, will pro that Simba will probably wish I didn't. Now, let's see. Oh, yes. Before the forgetting, you put Simba in charge of, protect of protecting the Dreamlight Tree. It was a haven for all the scrumptious, uh, fragile creatures around the valley. <laughs> But then the night thorns came, and instead of staying and doing what he was supposed to, Simba ran away, back to Pride Rock, and the dreamlight tree withered. So there's nothing to be done? Oh, how about this one? And you just stood there and let it wither? Well, I would have done something, but you ensured I couldn't. You don't remember the dreamlight tree seeds that sprout into more trees. Of course, you stopped anyone from ever finding them. Yeah. It's like you don't trust anyone, not even me. Don't trust anyone. These dreamlight tree seeds must be something special if I felt like I had to hide them. Where are they? What is <laughs> what a dumb question. You had to hide them from everyone. Where are they? Like what am I talking about here? Like I wonder <laughs> like was Scar spying on me and he just so happens to know where they are? What a silly question I just asked. In the mines below the sunlit plateau, you hid them in a very secret room. Let's hope, for everyone's sake, you managed to find them. Oh, you interesting. Search the mines. No problem. Is there a room, like, at the top of the thing? Up there. I feel like they're probably... Oh, it looks like there might be something right there. Just kidding. Interact with the strange rocks. All right. Ooh. Look at all those cute little animals. That looks like a dragon fruit. It looks like a notice of some sort. Maybe someone can help you make sense of it all. Well, there's a tree with animals all around it, kind of like the tree of life. There's potions I can make out of this weird fruit here, it looks like. I don't need, I don't need people to help me. There's a lot of information in here. A complicated tangle of tubes and beakers takes up most of the table. You notice there is still some room in two places to add something else. You're not sure what. Hmm. Interesting. Let's go talk to Merlin. We talked to Merlin about everything here. Well, hello. Ah, uh, Kizzy. You look like you're in pursuit of knowledge. How may I be of assistance? I found this room below the sunlit plateau with seeds in it and... Uh -huh. The herbalist room! What marvelous news! Why, I'd forgotten all about it. I want to get something called the Dreamlight Tree Seed for Simba, but it's stuck in a machine inside that room. I need your help, please. Not to worry, Kizzy. Excellent. The room you stumbled upon is a fascinating part of our history. In the past, you used it to do experiments regarding the valley's flora. You hid the room to keep the experiment safe from the prying eyes of those who might want to use them for nefarious purposes, like Scar. You wanted to create a haven for the critters, and you chose Simba to watch over it. Using a cutting of the tree above the well in the plaza, and after a lot of trial and error, error you managed to create a new plant called the Dreamlight Tree. That's all well and good, but how does it help us with our problem right now? Delightful! <laughs> Ah, the impatience of youth. I was just about to explain that part. Well. Right now, the Dreamlight Tree Seed is... Well, let's say it's slumbering. You'll need to awaken it so it can be planted anew. If I recall, you first gave life to it with two potions. The Potion of Growth 
and the potion of dust. You'll need blueberries and dream shards for the potion of growth, orange marsh milkweed and night shards for the potion of dust, and an empty vial for each potion. <laughs> Once you've prepared them, just place them in the proper spot in the her in the herbalist room, and the machine should do the rest for you. Off with you now. <laughs> lots to do, lots to do. Empty vial. Potion of growth. Potion of dust. Excellent. Oof. Whoa, Kizzy, what's this? The dreamlight tree seed. It's going to help us grow a dreamlight tree. That was your role, Simba. You watched over it in the past. We can bring it back. Hey! hey. Really? That's great. Thanks for figuring it out. Yeah. I promise to make sure no one destroys it. Or, you know, eats it. And I know the perfect spot to plant it. Near the pond on the sunlit plateau. Follow me. Conveniently, that's where your house is. Plant the dreamlight tree near the pond on the sunlit on the sunlit plateau. Wow, we sure do have a lot of work to do around here, and now you want me to plant a tree. It'll be fine. I'll I'll, I'll always be able to move it. No items available. Oh, is it in? Is it not close enough to the pond? What is it? <laughs> okay. Am I just supposed to press use? What's happening? No. Okay. And then what? Okay. Great. Water the dreamlight seed. One day, if I ever get this in my hand. Tend to the dreamlight tree until it's fully grown. Of course. I guess Simba's not following us anymore. Which is fine. So Simba was at... Something. So Nala needs to be... Got up to... Level 6. Or 7. Where is she at now? She's at five. Let's go, let's go hang out with Nala for a bit. 